Irritable bowel symptoms can be very frustrating. You can't really figure out the pattern of what's causing the symptoms. You go see your doctor and you get a pill or two or three or a pill and an injection, but no real answers. Uh, this video is gonna tell you about a little known cause of irritable bowel syndrome, irritable bowel disease symptoms, flare-ups, that you may have never heard before. So I think this is really gonna help you understand more about what's going on when your bowels become irritable. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice. And this video is going to tell you about a hidden cause of irritable bowel symptoms that you may have never heard of before. And now that you know about it, you might actually be able to completely reverse your irritable bowel symptoms that you otherwise would not be in control of. Everybody's familiar, if you have irritable bowel, with the symptoms, abdominal, pelvic pain, fatigue, bloating, gas, diarrhea, nausea, heartburn even. A lot of people have sugar cravings, puffy eyes, uh, poor hair, skin, and nails, poor mood, some people even bordering on depression, and then fever and chills when you're having an acute flare-up. All of these things are caused by something in your diet. And hopefully you've already learned enough about your body to get all the unnecessary processed foods out of your diet, the sugar, the grains, the vegetable oils, the alcohol. But the problem is, is a lot of people, when they stop eating the standard American crappy diet, they change to eating lots of fruits, lots of fruits and vegetables, and they maybe switch to whole grain breads. But the problem is, is that there's a very common cause of irritable bowel symptoms that changing to this more healthy diet, it doesn't really help at all. In fact, it can actually make it worse. There's a thing that can cause irritable bowel symptoms and very often be misdiagnosed as irritable bowel disease or even ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, and that is fructose malabsorption. Up to a third of all adults have fructose malabsorption syndrome. And so when you eat foods that are rich in, in fructose, which is the sugar found in fruit, in soft drinks, and even in vegetables, if you eat too much fructose, you're not able to absorb it properly in your small intestine. And so a very large amount of it makes it to your large intestine. And when your bacteria who normally reside in your, in your large intestine, when they get hold of this fruit sugar, this fructose, they go crazy, making lots of gas, making lots of inflammatory uh, molecules in your large intestine. And this is going to cause irritation and ir inflammation in your large intestine, which is what may very well be giving you your irritable bowel symptoms. Some people call this fructose malabsorption. Some people call this fructose uh, intolerance. Whatever you call it, about a third of adults when they eat too much fructose, and for some people this can be just only a little fructose, they have severe IBS symptoms. And in fact, many doctors who are not very familiar with the differences between IBS, IBD, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's can misdiagnose you with one of these conditions and you wind up on a handful of pills when all you really need to do is decrease the fructose in your diet. So if you've already got rid of low fat dairy from your diet, because many people find that the milk sugars, both lactose and galactose, give them severe irritable bowel symptoms. If you've already done that, you've gotten rid of the grains, you've gotten rid of uh, the alcohol, you've gotten rid of all those things, all the junk food, what, kind of what are you left to eat with, right? I mean, what are you supposed to eat? And so many people will try a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet or a, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. And if, if you are one of these people, one of the 33% who have fructose malabsorption, that diet's actually gonna make your symptoms worse. And you may very well have noticed that when you eat too, too much fruit or even too much of certain vegetables, you have a severe flare up of your irritable bowel symptoms. So I wanna tell you about a diet that is absolutely fructose free. And many people have used this diet to completely reverse their irritable bowel syndrome, disease, their ulcerative colitis, or even their Crohn's disease. And that is a carnivore diet. This diet, you eat any animal product. So it can be beef, butter, bacon, eggs, 
It can be the any seafood, it can be shellfish, it can be crustaceans. Basically, you don't eat anything that comes from a plant. And many people with disabling bowel syndromes and symptoms notice complete resolution of their symptoms when they're eating a carnivore diet. Now, I've got quite a few videos about the carnivore diet on this channel. I'm going to pop up a playlist at the end of this video. Click on that and watch a few. Do some reading. Do some research. And if you feel like you're among the 33% of adults who have fructose malabsorption syndrome, then try the carnivore diet. And I would try it for anywhere from 30 to 90 days. And if you notice a complete resolution of your bowel symptoms, then first of all, congratulations. Secondly, the way you can pay me back is by sharing this video or any of my other videos on this channel. Because when you share these videos, that helps me help other people who have never heard this message. If you're one of the people out there whose doctor, whose dietitian told them to eat lots of fruits and lots of vegetables and lots of whole grains, but then you wound up doing the exact opposite of that in order to reverse your symptoms, then you might want to check out my book called Lies My Doctor Told Me. And it actually goes into a lot of detail about the stupid things that doctors tell their patients that just aren't true. Now, as you can tell from the content of this video and my other videos, I'm probably never going to get a sponsorship from Big Food or Big Pharma Corporation. So if you would like to help me help other people achieve their optimal health, then become a patron. Sign up on my Patreon link. There's a link down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this one. This is Dr. Barry. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.